Hey, I'm Kiana Thompson. I'm excited to be here. I'm the owner of Holistic Harmony, my body and soul, a solution-focused therapy agency with 100% satisfaction in building quality, passionate relationships. Yay! And it's time for the monthlies for July. <clears throat> These are time um, lists. <laughs> These are time lists. So I'm doing them for July, but whenever you see this is when you're supposed to get the message, okay? Um... I'm an intuitive reader, so I like to shuffle and um, lay the cards out intuitively on camera. Feel free to fast forward to the message if that's what you would like to do. Take what resonates, leave what, does, what doesn't. This is a general read. I do not know your life completely um, at all. So it's just a snippet. It tells a story. It's for whoever it's for. I love a good story. It's a general read. Whatever comes up could be love, could be money. I don't know. Could be both, but we'll see. Okay. I'm gonna get us some smoke. Let's smoke it out so we can get these cards popping. Every week I do pick a card live on my Facebook page. You can find the link to like my Facebook page and watch me there too as well. We get the cards popping, popping, popping. So let's see who is up this week. Virgo. So Virgo is an earth sign. It's immutable. It's ruled by Mercury. Love to talk. Um... If your birthday is between August 23rd and September 22nd, these messages could resonate for you. Um, Virgos are very analytical, but they do worry a lot. They love cleanliness and they really just don't like rudeness. All right, Virgos. Let's see what's popping for you. Mercury is retrograde right now. Your planet is actually retrograde while I am doing this. Reading. All right. Spirit guides. I ask that you give me the most profound, divine, highest frequency messages of love and abundance. These intro includes it for Virgos. What do you want them to know? What do you want them to focus on? What barriers do they need to bust through so they can have their best life? What is it that you want them to be doing? What is it that you want them to know? What should they be focused on? All right. Let's get these cards cracking. Indecision, not strange for a Virgo read at all. <laughs> all right, I heard you pop. Oh my God, Virgo. Virgo, my sweet, sweet Virgos. God bless you. Uh-oh. Thank you. I am an intuitive reader. I use both um, Oracle decks and Tarot decks. I also just channel whatever universe is saying and whatever I feel. Sometimes I sing. Some A lot of times um, songs or, or movies come to my head. Um... This is the energy oracle deck. I'm also going to use the animal to roll wisdom. And then I'll get you a message from the, you got to do the work, Kiana inspirational card deck. And I'll also get you a message from another oracle deck, just depending on your read and what universe tells me to give you a message from.
Fill into this for a second. It's a lot of energy. I, I thought Scorpio just had a lot of energy. Virgo, you got a lot of <laughs> a lot of energy out here. Um, a lot of anxiety, a lot, a lot, a lot of fuzziness. So you could be feeling like you're not clear. You're feeling like you need to. I feel like in your head, if you had an antenna. That you could, like, rabbit ears, that you could move around to get some clarity, get on a frequency. Because you're kind of, like, fuzzy and all over the place in your thinking. So, you need to, like, get, you need to make a decision. You need to trust yourself is what I'm hearing. You need to trust yourself. And, yeah, you need to trust yourself. You need to be deep. Deep within your own self, you got your own card. You got the hermit card. You're the keeper of the light. You know, the Virgo energy, that wisdom um, energy that Virgos have. And you don't have to be indecisive. You know what to do. You have to trust yourself. You have to go the way that your spirit is telling you to go. Get a card for the hermit card. You might need to take a break. I'm feeling like you need to... Um, Quiet yourself. Quiet your mind. Get disconnect. Oh, okay. You need to disconnect. You need to cut the TV off. Cut the radio off. Cut the social media off. Cut off the electronics for a minute. Oh, shoot. Okay. Cut the petty off. <laughs> oh, you probably didn't think that was funny, but uh, sorry, bro. But that's what universe said. Cut the petty off, right? Okay, you have a decision to make. You have a third party situation. Virgo, I don't feel like this other person. I feel like it's you. I feel like you have more than one person, boo. And you're going to have to figure out what to do with it in order to be happy. Like, your pettiness in this three party situation is causing you unhappiness and causing you to um not get your ten of cups not get to be where you want to be so you're gonna have to cut the third party situation out you don't have to you know everybody has free will um but it's also about healing like i feel like you are being petty and and, ha and you like the competition I feel like you like it. I feel like even though you're indecisive about it and it's fuzzy and you need it to disconnect, I feel like you somehow benefit from this third-party situation and you actually like this third-party situation. But it is causing somebody heartache. Maybe it's causing the two other people heartache. Um, but you like it. And you like the competition. I don't like you thrive off the competition. But Virgo, you have to make a decision. You have to make a choice. I feel like the universe is telling you, you can't have your cake and eat it too. I hate that saying, but that's what I feel like the universe is saying to you. And in order for you to truly be happy, a real happiness, not just, um, not just, um, fluff happiness, not just, you know, toxic fun happiness, but true happiness true family true love true abundance you're gonna have to um make a real decision <clears throat> you're gonna have to be wise you're gonna have to disconnect from that chaos and connect to source so you can see what really to do so that way you can really get out of your petty because i feel like you already know which way you want to go with this Three party situation you already know one of the parties i feel like you're with just so that they can okay thank you universe you're with this person just to make the other person jealous you're not even with this person because you want to be with them or you know it's like a love thing you're with them because you really want to be with this person that you're trying to make jealous for whatever reason and you feel like you got to compete for that person 
So you're putting that person in a competitive situation as well. A lot of game plan. A lot of game plan with this. Like, just cut the bullshit already. Yeah. Cut. You worried. But you don't have to be. Cut. The person who you're trying to make jealous, instead of doing that dumb stuff, um, have an honest conversation where you both cut the bullshit and be direct with each other and straight up say, hey, I kn we're so, like, you got Ten of Cups with Queen of Wands and King of Wands. This is a soulmate energy again. This is twin flame energy. This is togetherness. This is real. This is what you both um, want. But you both have to cut the bullshit. You and... Um, no, who's ever the masculine and the feminine? You have to cut the bullshit. Okay, a lot of air energy in that. Some um, fire, some cup, but a lot of air. And then your own card, you got the hermit card. So you need to disconnect from from the person that you're using for competition. Okay, because you got a lot of <laughs> toxic behaviors, Virgo. What the hell? You have a lot of self sabotage and a lot of um addictions you could you could be doing a lot of heavy drugs or um you know drinking or even sex you could be having a lot of addictions i feel like you get high a lot <laughs> i don't know i don't know yet. <laughs> but that's how i'm feeling right now i'm feeling like real, i do kind of feel chill like um you know high. but i also feel the anxiety i feel my heart racing a little bit with this indecision and this anxiety card you're worried a lot and that's the part of being a Virgo, though. Like, you're very analytical. So, on the flip side of the analytics is the worry. So, maybe get to the point where you're figuring it out instead of worrying about it. Figure it out and then move on. Because the anxiety causes you to make really bad, I feel like, decisions. And start really bad habits that don't really serve you. I have a card for the devil. Yeah, um, a bad breakup or a breakup needed to happen, which I just said, you you need to let go of something. It's something that you're steadily beating a dead horse. It's not even what you want. You're just trying to revive it for whatever reason. It's not even really what you want to do. It's over, it's done, and you're getting a new offer of love, a new beginning in love, if it's not just the offer, but a new beginning in love with someone, probably your twin flame, but you are stuck in this toxic <coughs> relationship that's causing you anxiety and, um, you know, self-sabotage. And so you really, like, I feel like you really have to disconnect and you really have to, um, you know, move forward. So you might even need to go to, like, a detox or something, if, even if it's not... Um, if it's if you can't do it on your own, you might wish to do you know like a, a, a twenty one day program or something where you are um, detoxing. Cause it's time for you let that old relationship and old way of doing things go. Yeah, you eventually get the victory. Like I'm looking at the bottom of this deck here, but and you do get the wealth and the family which is nice and you do get the victory but it it comes after the fight though it comes after the after the emotional um you know moving on i feel like whatever you're hiding from um with this devil card whatever you're um self medicating for you're gonna have to deal with that and you know stand strong stand on your beliefs and you know deal with the things that you need to deal with and then you get the victory and then you get the ten of pentacles then you get everything that you have been wanting to um to happen so right now you at the ten of swords you're being a dead horse you have it you know you have this bad anxiety and you you know have this self sabotage behavior these addictions or whatever but you're getting a new start in love you're getting offers that you love your cup runs over you have to fill your cup up you cannot pour from an empty cup virgo so you have to deal with your emotional shit and then you have to believe in what you're doing. You have to believe in yourself. I keep breathing. I need you to breathe, Virgo. I feel like your anxiety and what's happening stops you from breathing.
slow down, disconnect, detox. So that you can get, you know, fill your cup up so that you can get the, you know, recognition, the accolades, the wealth, the family. All of these things are yours, Virgo. You just have to stop worrying about it and, set, and stop self-sabotaging. Stop beating dead horses that no longer matter, whether that's a relationship or job, a person, a situation, whatever it is. It's time for you to stop beating it. <coughs> and to be quiet. <laughs> I got a little choked right there and be quiet. Okay. Um, You have a lot of opportunities coming your way. Again, like I said, you got that Ten of Swords. You also got the World card. And the World card is very, to me, very similar to the Ten of Swords, but just in a different way. It's about cycles. It's about endings and beginnings. So some things needed to end. You know, some chapters are ending in your life. The addictions, the indecisive, indecisiveness, anxiety, right? Those things are ending. And what's coming towards you is more um, opportunities um, for you to prosper and to grow. So you could be having more job opportunities, more love opportunities, but you're going to get the, the victory and you're going to win. You're going to be in a position where you have a new way of communicating. I feel like you're going to be doing this via social media as well. So you could have a, 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 a large social media platform um, that you could be using to share your gifts, talents, and skills. And that's going to be really good for you. So, you know, your communication, which you're ruled by Mercury. So you're all about communication. So maybe right now, because your planet is retrograde, it's just time for you to rest and disconnect. And then you're going to come back um, ready to rock and roll and have all these opportunities and doors just open up for you and really, you know, get it cracking with the new, out with the old and with the new Virgo. Um, yeah, because you're going to be getting offers. I feel like once you get yourself together and you start being indecisive and anxious, you're going to be having a lot of offers coming towards you, more messages, more stable messages, um, even messages of love. But I feel like um, this is more so to me for you, money. I feel like you're going to be getting messages that you could be offered jobs, contracts, uh, you know, some type of income coming in from people who have money they want to hire you for whatever reason they want you to work for them or do a project for them or um just invest in you so this could even be a person that you're already with it could be you know your lover or a friend or a homie lover friend hey, Virgo, because y'all is a mess out here um but they're going to want to invest in you or invest with you so that could be giving you money, which is nice. Your luck is it's like it's like going up in love. I feel like because you had so much stuff in the past with the three party situation with the heartache that you could, you know, um again be really, you know, hurt and feel like you had to compete for somebody else's love or wanted somebody else to compete for your love. But now, you know, universe is saying like you're you are love, Virgo. You are love, right? You're love and you're surrounded by love and your love is gonna be on the upswing very soon. I feel like, you know, again, once you do the work that you need to do for yourself to get outside of this anxiety and indecisiveness, then you know, it's gonna you're gonna be on the upswing. You're gonna know a great love. Whew. I can't hardly breathe through you guys. Read. Hang on a second. Okay, so you have to, you know, um. What I feel like you need to do, um, Virgo, is really work on your um, solar plexus, which is your stomach area. So you may need to drink ginger and lemon tea. You may need to do some sit-ups. You may need to do some belly rubs. Um, do some work around your solar plexus. This is where your confidence is. This is where your self-esteem is. And it's very important that um, 
you work on this. It's going to be very important for you throughout the month of July um, that you work on this. And that's forever, actually, because it's a solar plexus. It doesn't go anywhere. But making sure that you're feeling confident and worthy and, you know, have high self-esteem because you're feeling you're feeling disconnected from the things around you and the offers that are coming your way you're not really sure like is the offer solid like i feel like you want the offer could be an apology but i feel like you want it but you're not sure if it's solid and you can't really trust yourself i have a card for the four of cups because you can't even see yeah, that's a <laughs> oh my god, ten of swords again, king of swords again, <laughs> Virgo. Oh my god, same thing. You're being you're being offered something, and I feel like it's gonna come from this the same king of sword who you broke up with, had the breakup, right? Um. So some people like to associate the King of Swords with narcissists a little bit. So they could be a little full of themselves. Um, I don't believe anybody could really be in a relationship with the narcissist, but hey, I don't know, right? Somebody got to be able to handle them. Um, <clears throat> but what I see, honestly, is this offer, you have to be confident in yourself and your self-esteem. Um, and I feel like when you do that, you're going to get off. It's going to be an apology. You're going to get an apology and an offer of love. And it, it, I definitely see the Ten of Swords. Okay, I'm 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 listening to to universe. I don't want to right now <laughs> because the Ten of Swords for me is it's over. It's done. But Universe literally just said to me, resurrection. I'm like, what? No. But that's what it said, resurrection. So, it's dead. You beat it, you walked away. It's being resurrected. <laughs> I honestly feel like it's one of those situations where the coma patient is in, been in coma for 17 years, and as soon as you pull the plug, they wake up, like two days later, like, Wait, I pulled the plug on this. What do you mean you woke up? They needed you to disconnect. They needed you to disconnect. The universe said, I need you to disconnect from this thing because they got some work to do. You got some work to do. So you have to disconnect. So you guys had to break up. But now um, you could be confident in the fact that it's being resurrected. I don't know how to keep paying to a freaking love reading too, but this is what it is. Um... And it's with this King of Swords. This King of Swords is not letting go. This King of Swords is sorry and apologetic and wants to offer you um, uh, uh, love. He wants to, wants a new beginning in love with you. Wants to, you know, resurrect this thing. He wants to save the relationship and move away from where you guys were and work on self and work on the relationship. And I feel like this person is working on themselves as well. Bringing in some Queen of Cup energy where he sees you um, as loving and nurturing, which is so weird because the Scorpio reading, they kept coming up as a Queen of Pentacles and you guys coming up as a Queen of Cups <laughs> in your reading. So he, this person sees you as loving and nurturing, which most I, most Virgos I know are very much so. So he sees you or she sees you as this loving, nurturing, kind you know, beautiful, angelic type energy, motherly energy. And they're ready to start um, a new beginning, um, a road um, to stability and happiness, a road to uh, marriage. So this is a, a situation that was game plan. And as soon as you stop playing games and, and literally unplug from that thing, is when this person had the time and fairly quickly 
to get their shit together because you unplug you stop taking this you stop playing the games you stop being toxic going back and forth with them you unplugged and it was like oh wait <laughs> i got one more heartbeat left in me <laughs> let me pump this thing let me work on myself let me get myself together because she for real or he for real has disconnected from me and i don't want that i want to save my relationship i want to i want to go i want to you know move away from um, all that toxicity. I want to work on my relationship. I see this person is loving. I want a new beginning. I want to marry you. So yeah, the, you know, apology, you like, do I take this? Do I not take this? That's up to you. But this is the thing. Once you become more secure in yourself, more confident in yourself, you're going to attract, um, you know, people back towards you when you feel confident when your solar plexus is, is nice and healthy so make sure you're doing your belly rubs make sure you drink your, your ginger and um lemon tea or water however you like it so you gotta get up out your head virgo stop worrying and start focusing no more game plan no more patty it's not working unless it's unless you like i said some of i think you like so it's up to you I'm going to get you a love card and a Kiana card from my own deck. This is my inspirational card deck. You got to do the work. And it is available for a pre-order. Let's see what Kiana got to say. Can I get a card for my Virgo friends? And I'm deciding, I'm sorry. Is it the love deck for Virgo? Yeah. They said it's the love deck. I wanted to do like purpose deck because I know Virgos love hard work and money. But universe said no, love. All right. See if any of those come out. I get one card for Virgo. Can I get a card for my Virgo friends, please? Oh, okay. I'll take both of them. Virgo, what did I tell you? Oh my God. Okay. So first thing first, you got the Kiana card. I want to read this at the bottom of the deck too. So the first one you got is no matter my situation, it's time to heal. I'm telling you, it's time for you to disconnect and do some healing work, Virgo. Go inside yourself. At the bottom of the Kiana deck, you got, I have to get back to my rhythm and flow. I have to get back to taking care of me. I have to do the things that make me glow. All that petty stuff is not working. It's time for you to get back to you. Got to find your rhythm and flow. Your love cards, you got unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. At the bottom of the deck, codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. I'm not making this stuff up. You got to disconnect. It's over. Because it's codependent. Whatever it is, whatever this is, you or the other person have to get. I feel like somebody got to go to detox. Like, I don't know if it's you or the other person that has the addictions. Um, you have to detox yourself, whether it's eating, drugs, sex, um, alcohol, shopping, whatever it is. It's time for you or the other person to, you know, um, break free and for you to trust. See? Oh! trust and wedding what did i say if you okay very soon religious factors you know what okay i'm so sick of love right now i was not doing love readings but you got to trust the universe you got to trust what's happening you got to trust 
um, that the universe is working to bring you guys back together. The universe is working on both of you. You had a couple of, you know, eight of pentacles. So it's all about hard work and it's all about working on self and it paying off. And that's what's happening. And I said, this person is going to come back. Like they're going to do their work and come back and they're going to want to marry you. You know, whether you marry them or not, it's up to you. But this is what universe is saying. And very soon. So you're not going to be waiting long, but you got to clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now is this what you want is this who you want and if it is you have to free yourself and the universe do its thing so get out the way virgo so universe can work on you and work on your person all right i hope y'all enjoyed this reading don't forget to like subscribe and share and hit the notification bell all right peace out